you came across this question in the jump exam how will you solve it it's actually very easy now in the look of things this particular question is from the topic in chemistry called chemical equilibrium and so many students on my dm and also on my comment section have been finding this part of chemistry very difficult but in the course of this video i'm going to make it very easy for us by solving this particular practice question so that we start getting the insights to which questions on that chemical equilibrium are being tackled so first of all let us read the question together and the question says what happens if the temperature of a system is decreased now this particular question is very easy please watch closely as i solve this question together with us and as i'm solving i'll be giving you guys some insights concerning this topic called chemical equilibrium so first of all we have external constraints that affect a reaction or a particular system at equilibrium so in the topic chemical equilibrium we'll use reaction and system together a system and also a reaction can be the same in the topic chemical equilibrium so as earlier saying i said that we have various external constraints that affect a reaction or a system at equilibrium and what are these external constraints we have three of them the first one is called concentration the other constraint is temperature and the last constraint is pressure do you understand so in the course of this practice question we'll be solving together i believe you've seen already one of the constraints which is temperature so we have to understand the way to which temperature affects a reaction do you understand because we have different patterns to which this external constraint affects different reactions so in the course of today's lesson i'll be explaining how temperature can affect a reaction at equilibrium because this topic is called chemical equilibrium now moving further whenever we are talking about temperature there is something that will come to our mind and it is heat do you understand temperature brings about heat and a reaction that is influenced or powered by heat is called a thermal reaction please note this a reaction that is influenced by heat or powered by heat is called a thermal reaction a reaction that is influenced by light is called a photochemical reaction photosynthesis is a good example of a photochemical reaction do you understand so this thermal reaction we are talking about which basically is influenced by heat and what brought about the heat temperature can be of two types we have endothermic reactions and also we have exothermic reaction do you understand we have endothermic and also exothermic reaction and there is something that we need to know to know if a reaction will be endothermic or exothermic and that is called delta h and that is called what delta h delta h is simply called change in enthalpy delta h is called what change in enthalpy this delta is change and h is enthalpy enthalpy can also be regarded to be called heat because enthalpy is the heat content of a reaction do you understand and whenever we are talking about heat we should be talking about these two types of reaction endothermic and also exothermic reaction now this must be noted for an endothermic reaction and also for an exothermic reaction they have their respective signs to which we'll know them for an endothermic reaction delta h should be positive for an exothermic reaction delta h should be negative i believe you are following so after we've successfully understand this concept to which you can actually know an endo and, and also an exothermic reaction let's get back to our question and the question says what happens if the temperature of a system or a reaction is decreased 
will come to this word decrease we have to understand what that means but now let's understand this reaction first of all should this reaction be endothermic or exothermic please comment down before i provide the answer to this particular question i just asked it's actually very easy it is exothermic reaction because delta h here was negative and this you are seeing as kj slash mole means kilojoule slash means per so it's kilojoule per moles do you understand so that's for that so we've seen now that this reaction is exothermic so knowing this will help us solve this question now moving further in solving questions under this topic you'll be hearing the word or if you are studying you'll be seeing the word equilibrium position shifts to the right equilibrium position shifts to the left now what does this mean please note whenever you see in a reaction and they said that the equilibrium position of that particular reaction shifts to the right it implies two things and also if the equilibrium position of that reaction shifts to the left it implies two things also so whenever the equilibrium position of a reaction shifts to the right it means that the forward reaction of that particular system is favored and more of the product is formed now this is what i mean this is a reaction this is the forward reaction and also this is the backward reaction and as well this is the product side of the reaction and also this is the reactant side of the reaction meaning that i just said that if equilibrium position shift to the right it means that the forward reaction is favored this is the forward reaction and more of the product is formed so for instance i said that the uh, the equilibrium position of this reaction shifted to the right hand side what does this mean it means that the forward reaction is this forward reaction is favored and more of this is formed so it means that more of so3 is formed are you getting the point same applies to this whenever i say that the equilibrium position shifted to the left hand side the backward reaction is favored and more of the reactants what are formed or is formed so the point here is this more of so2 and also o2 will be formed that is what it means when a reaction or the equilibrium position of the reaction shifts to the left hand side do you understand the point so this alone will help us in this aspect before we now understand what the word decrease means to actually answer this question without stress is actually very easy now with all this said i believe you now understand the overview to which all of this concept works so let's actually use apply what they asked in this question they were dealing with temperature and also they mentioned decreased it's actually very easy please note please note and what did we say this reaction was this reaction is it an endothermic or an exothermic reaction it is an exothermic reaction so please note this but before i explain for exo i have to explain for an endothermic reaction so please note for an endothermic reaction for an endothermic reaction your delta h should be positive whenever you increase temperature in an endothermic reaction here yeah, temperature was decreased but i'm explaining whenever you increase temperature for an endothermic reaction your forward reaction is favored meaning that in this context more of so3 will be formed but if you decrease temperature for this same endothermic reaction okay it's going to be the reverse meaning that more of your reactant or more of your backward your backward reaction will be favored meaning that more of your reactant will be formed okay because we explained the overview to which this works so this is an endothermic reaction i repeat for an endothermic reaction if you increase temperature increase in temperature favors your forward favors the product same but if you decrease temperature it favors your backward and favors the reactants do you understand so that's how it works do you understand so that's for an endothermic reaction now let's go over to exo please bear this in mind for exothermic reaction all we have said for endo it is the direct opposite do you understand for an exothermic reaction so for exothermic reaction in this context if we if we increase temperature 
it will favor what? Because I said for endo, if you increase temperature, it favors your product. But here is the opposite. If you increase temperature, it favors your backward. Do you understand? If you increase temperature for exothermic reaction, it favors the backward. And if you decrease temperature, it favors the forward. So the question now is, what happens if the temperature of a system is decreased? They said decrease in temperature for an exothermic reaction, which side will favor your forward reaction. So I believe you already know the answer to this question. Please comment down the answer to this question. I don't want to even write the answer. I want to provide the answer to this question with all my explanation. Temperature here was decreased and it is an exothermic reaction. So when you decrease temperature for an exothermic reaction, what will happen? I've explained. The, the forward reaction will be favored. So please tell me the answer to this question is actually very easy so please as you watch this video make sure you jot down it will help you greatly from all what i've said from the beginning till now i believe this video lesson was helpful to you so if you find this video lesson helpful do well to share these lessons with your friends okay thanks for watching before i end this video lesson let me let me ask you guys another question because this is just question one now i've asked us to provide the answer which everybody now is seeing in the options so i want to give you another practice question so for the first question to put it here in the comment section just say number one you write what is favored if it's forward or backward and the second one to give you now let's say it was positive okay and now it is increased so please this is the second question i've asked so provide the answer to this question as well okay so tell me number one the answer number two the answer so thanks for watching